What's up guys and welcome back to Tech Lab. So at the end of last year we asked you what kind of videos you wanted us to do going forward and you overwhelmingly voted for more tutorials, guides and how to's. Now we're going to kick that off today with a video about how to reduce the vibration from your fans if you get any. So let's just jump straight in. Okay, so if you are getting any vibration from your system, it's most likely coming from your fans, in your case fans probably in particular. And this is because modern gaming PCs nowadays don't really have that many moving parts, but your fans, they're never actually going to change. They are specifically designed to move air through your system by obviously rotating a set of blades, and sometimes this can cause you an issue. Now before we start buying products to be able to actually reduce this vibration noise, what we need to do first is totally free. We can actually look at the conditions of the fans we've actually got. What we want to do is we want to make sure that the fans aren't damaged in any way and that they freely spin in your hand. So you can remove them from your system, give them a bit of spin, make sure that they freely spin and there's no wobble on the actual blades. The second thing you need to check is are they actually clean because a buildup of dust over time can actually cause the blades to go out balance which could be causing the problem in the first place. Now if your fans are completely clean, there's no visible sign of wear and tear and there's no damage, you're probably good to go. Another thing you can check though before you actually buy anything is your fan profiles. Now because they are designed to move air through your system, they don't actually have to be 100% all the time. Now they will with motherboard control ramp up and down, but sometimes people have them set to 100% all the time, which not only causes a lot of noise problems, but it can also cause the fans to wear out even sooner. So double check your profiles, make sure that they're not 100% all the time, otherwise you're just gonna wear through a new set of fans anyway really quickly. Now if your fans are damaged, you will need to replace them because no matter what you actually add to them, it's probably gonna cause an issue anyway and you don't want that in your system. If the fans are fine though, there are a couple of options that you have. The first thing you need to check on your fans is what type are they? And what we mean by type is what kind of mounting mechanism do they have? Now most fans will actually screw straight to your chassis, but some have these little foam pads in each corner which actually reduce vibration straight away. Now I've found that many premium brand fans don't actually have them. This one is a fractal fan, they are quite expensive and it doesn't have any kind of padding at all. It's completely plastic and that could actually transfer any vibration from the fan to the chassis itself. Now not all fan brands actually give you much of an option after that point. You could actually get some kind of sponge foam and you could stick it over the corners when you actually mount it in. But some brands actually do. Now the fans that I'm using in this system, which is my personal own system, are from Noctua and they also have just a plastic bezel. But they do give you an option to buy rubber pads for the corners and they come in the form of these. When you purchase these you can buy them in lots of 16 so you can get plenty for your case and you only really need to fit them between the fan and the chassis itself although some people do fit them to the outside of the fans because they look quite nice and you can get them in lots of different colours but they are simply a little rubber corner that mounts straight to the fan so we'll take this fan out and we'll get these fit. Okay so we've removed the fan from the system and as you can see there isn't any kind of rubber mounts in the corners and these ones are grey, so I've bought these specifically in grey so that they'll blend in with the fans. And they will simply just push in to the back like that. They've got two little pegs that go through the little holes and then they hug around the corner. Just like this. And then you actually ha now have your rubber mount in between, because I've put it on the back and this is a rear mounting fan, in between the fan and the chassis. Now you can add these to each corner, which you should do, and then when you screw them back, they should actually provide a bit of a layer between the fan and the chassis, which will absorb most, if not all, of the vibration. Now unfortunately, there wasn't many brands that I've seen this actually happen, so if you are replacing your fans, double check when you buy them that they come with these little rubber pads on. I know a lot of Cooler Master fans do. To be honest, a lot of brands do. Um, some of the premium ones don't because they want you to buy extra, which is like the Noctua, but it's not too bad because Noctua's are pretty good anyway. And because a lot of people use them on radiators and things like that, where you don't really need these pads at all, it's not too bad. Now you can pick these up, like I said, for about eight pound for about 16 of them and they're really really good quality so they're worth an investment if you are using not sure fans so if your fans do have sponge pads in the corners or if you have purchased some like i have and fit them to the fan and you're still getting vibration there is another option instead of screwing the fans down you can actually get different mounting brackets now these are rubber mounted brackets and what they do is they allow the fan to actually float 
off of the actual chassis and they will absorb pretty much all vibration that you will get. Now these ones I've picked up are from Noctura again, but you can actually get these in any brand and they'll pretty much fit any brand of fan anyway. So you could either get the Noctua ones or you could go a little bit cheaper and get some others. Now the designs do differ slightly, but they all serve the same purpose and are fitting them as pretty much the same principle. What you'll find when you open these, and again, you'll buy these in about boxes of 20 if you buy from Noctua or any other brand will come in whatever quantity that you've decided, but they come just like this. Now the way that these work are that instead of screwing the fans to your chassis, these will simply go through your fan and you'll pull it through and you'll just hear a little pop. Just like that, which means it's actually located into the fan now as your screw would. The other side will go through the actual chassis, so you have to fit them all first, which we will do. And then you simply use the same process to install it into the case. Where the actual screws for the fan would have gone through into the chassis, you actually now push these little bubbles on the shorter side through and they'll locate in and lock into the case there. Now these will, like I say, cause the fan to actually float while it's in and any vibration should be taken out by the mounts themselves. Now Noctua do do these in lots of different colours. I've chosen black so it blends into the system. But again, you can get them in any colour you want, pretty much go with any theme. Now I've seen a lot of the cheaper branded ones you don't really get much of a choice of colour, so I would always opt for the Noctuas, but it's totally up to you how much you want to spend. Now these mounts, just like the actual corner pads, cost about £8, but you got 20 of them instead, so there's plenty there to be able to fit as many fans as pretty much you want. So now that we've actually got them mounted here, what we want to do is from the inside, locate them through the back, just like the screws would have done. And simply, just like we did when we pulled it forward, pull them back and they will locate into the back piece just like that. Now I've seen a lot of people actually, what they'll do with these little bubbles is they'll cut them off because you don't really need them on the back. As long as it's fixed in properly, it will actually serve its purpose. So that's two options you've got for reducing the vibration from your fans against your chassis and they generally work pretty well. Let me know if you've done this before in your system and what kind of trouble you've had once you've had them fitted. And if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you can get more going forward.